Good evening and welcome back to Tecton Zoo. This week, what we're going to do is build a restaurant next to Flamingo Lake because my guests are hungry. So I mentioned last week that we were going to be building either a uh, red panda or ring-tailed lima habitat today. Um, <laughs> my guests had other ideas. Apparently the one food kiosk and the one drinks kiosk I provided them with was not enough and they are not happy at all. Um, now as soon as I built the Flamingo Lake that we did a few episodes ago I knew I was going to put a restaurant in right here so that the courtyard overlooked the flamingos so I thought that would be kind of nice. Um, so yeah I've sort of pushed that forward and that is what we're going to be building today. Now this design is based on the restaurant at Dudley Zoo that Tecton designed back in the 1930s uh, though with a few changes to make it uh, fit a bit better into this particular zoo. Uh, and also I find some of their designs are really basic and I don't mean that in a uh, in a negative way as in they were really good at making things look interesting even though sometimes it was almost just like a rectangle of concrete with a bit of glass. And I find in Planet Zoo because you don't get the um, you know the different rates that things degrade, uh, the different uh, way that paint decays over time and just the little imperfections and tiny changes and things that um, you get in real life. If you build something like that it can look a bit unrealistic um, so I've made a few changes uh, to make it a bit more visually interesting and work a bit better in Planet Zoo. I'm pretty happy with the final result. It took quite a long time to build this one uh, which is probably <laughs> no surprise it being me building it but um, it probably looks simpler uh, than it was to build. Getting the fronts uh, that I'm building here to work was a bit of a challenge. Uh, you'll see in a minute how it um, sort of is bent forward uh, and then goes back into the roof. Um, which took a bit of doing to get it all joining up and looking good, but I think it got there in the end. Uh, so this has got two food places in it. We've got a um, pizza place and a chief beef. And then there is a drinks place, uh, a couple of drinks places actually, and a toilet as well. Then there's going to be seating inside, and like I mentioned, there'll be a courtyard out the front where the guests can have their food and drink and watch the flamingos and just generally have a lovely time. So I really like the way the, uh, the arch over the entrance goes down into these shelves for planting uh, and then suspended above the or suspended on the metal poles. Doubling up all of the glass here. Uh, in fact, I think I'm tripling it up. Um, I find, that, I mean, the glass in the game, the glass piece is already good, but the glass is like super, super see-through. And sometimes I feel like you can see a bit too much of the inside of the building than you would do compared to real life, uh, unless there happens to be loads of glare on it. So what I've done is I've used two different uh, glass pieces. Uh, glass wall pieces that is and then behind them I actually put one of the uh, just sort of plain glass plates that you get and that really um, it's still it's still translucent or transparent rather but it stops it from being too transparent uh, and I think it looks better that way so you can't see so much of the interior uh, when you are outside this is one of several um, restaurants cafes etc that Tecton built at Dudley Zoo I used one of the other restaurants or the cafe it is actually as the basis for the medical center in the entrance to the zoo and then I'm using the restaurant for this. I think there's actually another restaurant at Dudley Zoo as well which I may use for inspiration at some point, I'm not sure. I'm using the arctic wood um, flooring here which is one of my favorite pieces, possibly my favorite piece in the game, it just looks really lush, I always use that for floors when I can. And then I also think it's really important to put a base into the structures that you're building. It really helps set it into the uh, into the landscape. Should talk a bit as well about the African pack, seeing as that's just been announced. I am really excited for that to come out. I've been waiting, as I'm sure a lot of people have, for Meerkats especially for a long time. If you've not seen it, my previous zoo that built before this was called London Zoo 1985 which is a recreation of London Zoo as it stood back in the 1980s and uh, early 1990s. Um, and it has uh, a meerkat enclosure in it that currently holds pangolins. <laughs> and the famous Tecton penguin pool currently has king penguins in it, and really it should have Humboldt penguins. Um, 
and I think the African penguin is going to be pretty uh, close to that and the fennec foxes will be going into the nocturnal part of the zoo as well um, so I'll probably do a video of that and get that up on the channel at some point pretty soon uh, anyway back to this zoo the original building has a very slightly sloping roof curved all the way over uh, which would have been a bit of a nightmare to, to try in Planet Zoo uh, and also it's incredibly subtle uh, so I just thought I'd put some shapes in to uh, make it a bit more visually interesting and a little uh, some little chimneys as well using a couple of uh, cylinders of different colors and then some smoke effects the inbuilt chimneys in the game look very much like they're sort of for a house uh, so I didn't really think they'd fit so I made some custom ones and then the logo for the Forest Cafe, as it's called, uh, using the same slightly overlapping letters that I used in the Zoo logo, which I really like. Letters are a bit bigger than the space I allowed them, so just got to copy that down there. The original restaurant is um, a sort of medium blue highlights rather than green, but I've never really liked blue. <laughs> Sorry, blue. Um, I prefer green, and also I've chosen that shade of green as the sort of uh, defining colour for the forest area so I've used that again there. Got a lot of planting into the courtyard and the surrounding area as well to really get that sort of forest vibe when you're in the restaurant or when you're outside it as well. So there's a lot of mulching going on because I think it looks better than when you just use the, uh, the soil brush and I'm just using the same sort of palette of plants that I've used throughout the rest of the forest. Mainly temperate, a few sort of more alpine varieties and very occasionally a tropical variety. I put some nice uh, palms out the front. I wanted the tree that was striking and looked really good uh, but wasn't too tall. I didn't want it to overpower the building. I'm using the station surround pieces here to make little shelves. I've literally never used those before ever. <laughs> um, so yeah I was quite uh, pleased with that. I don't know why I've never used them. They're actually really useful when you think about it because they're sort of half the length of the other pieces as long as they're going, you know, sort of near the ground so you can hide the bottom bit. So I use those again in the interior of the restaurant a bit later as well. Yeah, there's the extra glass pieces to darken it up a bit. And then putting the ceiling in for inside, which is going to be on two levels. There's a drop ceiling here in by the counters with some of these lights, which are like hidden away in there. I decided watching this back that I really don't like that toilet sign. It's kind of huge, a um, bit overbearing, so I think I'm going to replace that just with a text sign. I think it will fit in a bit better. And there's going to be a set of three different custom signs for menus, etc. here. Each one's subtly different, so they form a sort of panorama going from left to right. And some shelves to disguise the pretty garish colours at the front of the food stalls, which I'm not a big fan of. And this is the second part of the ceiling. I really like the coloured bamboo. I think it's a really good piece. I'm going to shade it brown, um, like a sort of smoked bamboo effect. It goes really nicely with the green of the drop ceiling. And now we go mad with the plants. I do this on both sides of the um, courtyard, uh, but I thought I'd just show half of that here because you don't need to see me doing the same thing twice obviously this the uh, the little mold pieces work really well for um, uh, little flowers in there is that a mold no that's a moss <laughs> moss not mold you just don't want to put mold everywhere that would be a really really poor uh, visual for the beautiful garden I've mentioned before as well about the contrast between the green foliage and the white concrete which just looks really good so I try and do that everywhere that I can in the zoo and somewhere for the guests to sit so weirdly these patio um, tables that I've put in there are pretty much identical to one uh, in my parents garden when I was little <laughs> they are very uh, either classic or dated depending on your um, your viewpoint I'm still not exactly sold on them uh, they're a bit retro for the uh, for the zoo but they do go nicely with the cafe with it being based on a, a design from the 1930s um, but if you guys could let me know in the comments what you think of those tables in particular 
uh, and if you've got any suggestions for any um, better ones or whether we should make custom ones uh, let me know what you think we should do and I'll, uh, I'll take a look at it. Now a little light path uh, going from the entrance to the door which I'll sink into the ground and then some final decoration on the inside a bit more lighting the palms I mentioned which I think work really well I, I must have been through well I did go through about every palm in the game uh, to see which one worked best I like how low these ones are I think they really highlight the front without being too uh, obtrusive I put in some little uh, source stations with the Indian uh, bottles again using those station surround pieces which I mentioned earlier uh, we could definitely do with more props for inside in the game I think when you're building restaurants and backstage areas and things like that it's really hard to to find the pieces that you need um, although better builders than me uh, will <laughs> make custom stuff and finally some spotlights for the trees the green lights turned the saturation all the way down so it's quite subtle be more visible at night and that is the cafe done uh, I really hope you like it I'm quite pleased with how it turned out uh, if you want to see the original check out uh, I think it's on the Dudley Zoo website thank you so much for watching I'll leave you to enjoy the cinematics uh, next week uh, I promise we will be building the ring-tailed lemur habitat thank you for watching and bye